Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from SoftUni and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this lesson, I will explain the four main groups of skills that every skilled developer should have. These skills are coding skills, algorithmic thinking and problem solving skills, fundamental software development concepts, and programming languages and software technologies. These skills are essential to the software development profession, so every developer learns them sooner or later. Want to learn more? Let me tell you everything in detail. In this section, I will explain the four essential skills of software engineers. Coding skills, algorithmic thinking and problem solving skills, understanding the software engineering concepts and principles, and mastering software technologies. These are the four main skill groups that all programmers must have in order to practice software development successfully. Most of these skills are sustainable over time and are not affected by the advances of the technologies that are constantly changing. I will explain in detail these four essential groups of skills with focus on the concepts, principles and paradigms of computer science and software development. There are four main groups of skills that any skillful programmer has and to which with every beginner must strive. Coding skills, which form 20% of the developer skills, are the skills to write and debug code and use developer tools. These skills include working with data structures and calculations using loops and basic data structures like arrays and lists, using objects and programming APIs. Algorithmic thinking and problem solving skills, which form 30% of the developer skills are the skills to solve technical problems by analyzing the problem and generating ideas how to solve it, designing a sequence of steps called algorithm to obtain the expected results from the input data and implement the steps to build the solution. The fundamental software engineering concepts for about 25% of developer skills. These skills must include many programming paradigms, essential software development knowledge and skills, software engineering principles and concepts that developers typically acquire as they gain experience over the time. These skills include object-oriented and functional programming, data structures and algorithms, networking and web, front-end and back-end concepts, databases, source control systems and team working. Programming languages and software technologies, which form only 25% of the developer skills, are what we see at the job offers for developers. Front-end technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Angular and React. Back-end technologies like C-Sharp and ASP.NET MVC, Java and Spring Framework, Python and Django, JavaScript and Node.js. Database technologies like SQL Server, MySQL, and PostgreSQL, and ORM frameworks like Entity Framework and Spring Data. I will explain all these groups of technical skills in more detail because they are the heart of what beginner developers need to master to start their first job. Coding skills form 20% of the developer skills. These are the skills to write and debug code, to work with conditional statements, to work with loops, write control for logic, use basic data structures such as arrays, lists and maps, work with strings, with objects and classes, exception handling and basic platform APIs and external libraries. Coding skills form 20% of the developer skills. These are the skills to write and debug code and they include the following components. Coding writing command scripts and programs using development environments, the so-called IDEs and developer tools, working with variables and data, calculations, using conditional statements and loops, writing and using functions, methods, classes and objects, working with data structures such as arrays, lists, maps, strings and trees, using programming APIs, libraries, and software packages, 
troubleshooting and debugging the code and using a debugger. The skills of coding can be acquired after several months of hard learning and solving practical problems and writing code every day. At Soft2Ne, the coding skills are mastered in the first few training courses of our end-to-end -end software engineering program. In the Programming Basics training course, in the Programming Fundamentals course, and in the next few courses where these skills are further developed. Remember that the programming language does not matter for the ability to code. Coding is essential skill, which once learned can be applied in many programming languages. To master the skill of coding, you need to invest two or three months of intensive training and coding every day or work slowly for a longer period. The second essential skill of software developers is algorithmic thinking and problem solving, which forms 30% of the developer skills. Algorithmic thinking is the ability to analyze the problem and break it into a logical sequence of steps called algorithm to find solution for each separate step or break it further into sub-steps and then assemble these steps into a working solution. The second essential skill of software developers is algorithmic thinking and problem solving, which forms 30% of the developer skills. Algorithmic thinking is a way of getting to a solution through the clear definitions of the steps needed. It includes the ability to analyze the problem and break it into logical sequence of steps called algorithm to find the solution for every separate step or break it further into sub-steps and then assemble these steps into a working solution. The algorithmic thinking is similar concept to logical thinking, engineering thinking, mathematical thinking and abstract thinking. All these concepts are related to the ability to solve problems to think logically, to analyze the problems, and to find and implement solutions. That's why good mathematicians, physicians, architectural or mechanical engineers can easily learn programming and software development. They have strong engineering thinking and problem-solving skills. Others may also learn algorithmic thinking and software development, but they will need more time. Problem solving is more general skill, while uh, algorithmic thinking is more technical or engineering skill. Problem solving is the act of defining a problem, determining the cause of the problem, analyzing the problem, identifying, prioritizing and selecting alternatives for a solution, and implementing a solution successfully. In computer science, we deal with technical problem solving which is the most important skill of any programmer, the ability to solve technical problems by breaking them into sequences of steps and implementing these steps with code. To master the skill of technical problems, uh, of solving technical problems and develop algorithmic thinking, it's necessary to invest 6 to 12 months of intensive training and practicing every day, and to solve at least 1,000 practical programming problems. At SoftUni, algorithmic thinking and problem solving are mastered during the Programming Basics and the Programming Fundamentals courses and in the Advanced Programming modules in the professional tracks, and are later extended in the optional Data Structures and Algorithms module. The programming language and software technologies doesn't matter for the algorithmic thinking and problem solving skills. Developers with strong algorithmic thinking will be able to design and implement algorithms in any programming language. There are, these are essential skills that once learned will help you throughout your life. They do not age over time. The fundamental computer science and software engineering concepts and principles form about 25% of the developer skills. They include concepts like object-oriented and functional programming, asynchronous programming, databases, front-end and back-end, 
networking, web technologies, and software engineering. The fundamental computer science and software engineering concepts and principles form about 25% of developer skills. And the developers are learning uh, them for many years during their software engineering education and professional career. These fundamental computer science and software development concepts include many programming paradigms, essential software development knowledge and skills, software engineering principles and concepts. Some of these knowledge areas and concepts are the following. The concepts of object-oriented programming, OOP, working with classes, objects, inheritance, interfaces, and polymorphism. The concepts of functional programming, FP, working with pure functions, declarative programming, and immutable data. The concepts of asynchronous programming and concurrent execution, working with threads, background tasks, promises, and others. Databases, relational databases, the entity relationship model, uh, the SQL language, as well as NoSQL databases, document-oriented databases, the key value model, database engines, programming APIs, and tools for database programming and ORM pro frameworks. The concepts behind the networking and web technologies, the HTTP protocol, front-end web development, HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript, DOM, Ajax, REST, back-end web development, MVC frameworks, routing engines, templating engines, cloud technologies, and many others. Software engineering, development methodologies, agile principles, teamwork principles, source control systems, project management principles, quality assurance, and others. The programming languages and software technologies, which form only 25% of the developer skills, are what we see at the job offers for developers. Examples are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Ajax, REST, Angular, React, Node.js, Java, Spring, Hibernate, Python, Django, Flask, C Sharp, SPNet, MySQL, and many, many others. Programming languages and software technologies, which form only 25% of the developer skills, are what we see at the job offers for developers. Programming languages such as JavaScript, C Sharp, and Python, software development technologies such as React, ASP.NET, and Django, software platforms such as Java EE and .NET Core, software libraries such as Apache Commons and ML.NET, development frameworks such as Spring MVC and Angular, and developer tools such as NPM, Visual Studio Webpack, and Maven are what we can see in the requirements in most job offers. Uh, for software developers, but they are the last 25% of the developer skills. The other 75% uh, of the developer skills are coding, uh, are algorithmic thinking, are, are and development concepts which are considered to be mastered by the job offers. That's why many job offers for junior devs requires one to two years of experience uh, because this experience guarantees good coding skills, at least basic algorithmic uh, thinking and problem solving uh, skills and at least basic level of understanding the main development concepts and principles together with certain stack of software technologies. The programming languages and technologies always come, come as a technology stack or, uh, or software development stack. Development stacks are sets of related programming languages, software technologies and tools which are used together. The term stack is used because some technologies depend directly on others and work on top of each others like a stack. 
development stack simply means a set of languages, uh, platforms, libraries, IDEs, and tools used in the application development, including the operating system, the software or cloud platform, uh, database server and application server. Examples are the WAMP stack, Linux plus Apache plus MySQL plus PHP, and the Django stack, well, Python plus Django plus PostgreSQL. Here are some more detailed examples of commonly used software development stacks which software companies are looking for. The .NET development stack uh, which is required for starting a job as a junior C-sharp developer consists of C-sharp, .NET Core, Visual Studio, databases, uh, SQL Server, plus SQL, plus Entity Framework, uh, plus ASP.NET MVC and Web API, uh, plus HTML, plus CSS, plus JavaScript, plus Ajax, plus RESTful Services, plus JSON, uh, plus object-oriented programming, plus functional programming, plus algorithmic thinking, plus uh, source control systems uh, and Git, software engineering, plus cloud and containers, plus English, plus teamwork skills. Another popular development stack is Java uh, script, plus functional programming, plus object-oriented programming, plus databases, plus MongoDB or MySQL, plus HTTP, plus, H, uh, plus web programming, plus web front-end, HTML, plus CSS, plus JavaScript, plus uh, Ajax, plus DOM and jQuery, or Angular or React, plus web backend, uh, such as Node.js and Express, plus JavaScript tools, plus cloud and containers. Another uh, popular technology stack from the Python ecosystem is uh, Python plus OP, uh, OP object-oriented programming, plus functional programming, plus databases, uh, MongoDB or MySQL or, or PostgreSQL, plus HTTP, plus web development, uh, plus uh, HTML, plus CSS, plus JavaScript, plus John, DOM, plus jQuery, plus some MVC framework uh, like uh, Django or Flask, plus Cloud and containers. In the Java space, um, we have development stacks based on the following technologies. Java plus Java API classes plus object-oriented programming plus functional programming plus databases plus MySQL plus HTTP plus web programming plus HTML plus CSS plus uh, JavaScript DOM jQuery plus JSP and servlets uh, plus Spring MVC or Java E plus Cloud and Containers. Uh, all these technologies consist of large amount of technical knowledge with, which change very fast. Once you learn a software technology such as Angular 9 or Java E 8, it will be outdated in few years or even months and new versions or entirely new technologies will come as a replacement. This is normal. Live with the understanding that technology is changing fast. What stays for long are the coding skills, algorithmic thinking and problem solving, and software development concepts and principles. The usual lifetime of modern software technologies is one to three years. Uh, at SoftUni, we teach modern software technologies in the professional modules of our end-to-end -end 
training program for software engineers. Uh, we combine learning of modern software technologies together with fundamental development concepts and principles and problem solving skills. In the professional modules at SoftUni, we focus on certain development stack, such uh, based on C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, Python, or other language. And we gain experience with it through a lot of exercises and practical projects. Remember that software technologies are only 25% of the developer skills and are highly dependent on the previous 75% the general software development skills, which are strong coding skills, algorithmic thinking and technical problem solving, computer science and software development concepts. Many job offers for developers only publish a list of software technologies without even mentioning the coding skills, problem solving skills and development concepts and principles. This is because employers assume that all developers should have these four group of skills and that experience with software technologies proves that the applicant has also coding skills, algorithmic thinking and problem solving skills, and understands the concepts and principles behind the modern software technologies. To be a software developer, you need to have all these four groups of essential developer skills. You should learn them either from your experience or from trainings and courses, from books, or from all these sources combined. In addition to the tech skills, developers should have also soft skills, such as verbal and written communication skills, teamwork skills, the skill to work successfully with other people, organizational skills, time management, planning and prioritization, accountability, empathy, adaptability, creativity, attention to detail, and many others. All these technical and non-technical skills combined together are described in the job offers under this short and simple requirement. One or two years of professional developer experience. Hey, did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softuni.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. Join now. softuni.org